All right, here working in the home, uh, insulating. This is uh, same kind of eye joist we have in our house actually, and this is actually sound barrier. Uh, now he also wanted this vapor barrier on there. I don't quite understand his reasoning. Uh, just don't ask and just do. I guess this is what he wants. This is what I do. But there is another story above this yet, in uh, living quarters up there as well. So <clears throat> there's heat lines in there. I can show you in the other room, I guess. Just a minute. Look at these pipes running through everywhere, and they get attached like so. So the heat radiates up, and uh, that insulation then goes under that. So that the heat will go up not down plus it's also a sound barrier in these rooms so that's what we're working on right now got to get all the ceilings done here uh today and tomorrow the ceilings all done vapor barrier and i'm putting a it's actually underlay mahogany underlay typically what i would put under a linoleum floor but uh, that's what we're putting on the ceilings here that's what he's ordered for it uh i think it's a certain look he's going for um but yeah Kind of neat. So we'll be hard at it. We got, uh, uh, yeah, like I said, today and tomorrow. I don't think it'll take the whole time, which is fine. I got enough to do at home too, but um, working at it. It's going nice. Nice little place. Lots of light here now. It's pitch black when we showed up this morning. We got lots of sunlight coming in the windows now. And uh, beautiful day. guys house again today uh, we've been here for a bit we've got uh, well yesterday I finished these two rooms they're all done ready to go we're gonna try putting uh, I'll show you what it is we're gonna be putting this on kind of looks like plywood but it's uh, it's actually an underlay I would use this under linoleum floor it's a very very thin product uh, he wants to put that on the ceilings uh, I'm not sure what his reasoning is oh my hands all crooked not sure what his reasoning is for that uh i'm guessing he just likes the look he's got he's got plywood on the bottom half here too of here so i don't know must be a look he's going for um uh, we're going to try putting that on here now these are going to be a royal pain right there to find those holes exactly um uh, my preference would have been just to tuck the wires up there leave those steel brackets out and um then measure once I got the ceiling up and I could cut the holes perfectly and then pull, put my hand up there and pull the wires down. Now that these steel brackets are in, I have to find that hole, that one, perfectly. Which could be a challenge because you might be off just a hair one way or another. And uh, anyway, I think it would work really good with a roto zip in drywall and I'm going to try that today. I don't actually own a roto zip but we do have a Dremel tool and I have a roto zip blade and I have done that once before. The problem, a roto zip is actually meant for that and has a base. It's kind of like a router, a mini router and it has a base on it that you can rest the machine on and then go ahead and cut your hole. The roto zip blade, it's kind of like a glorified drill bit I guess. You, you can find the middle of this hole, any of these holes, and you can plunge up into that hole and then you can scoot off to the side of the hole and you'll be able to feel because you won't be able to cut through that steel very well and then you can kind of go around so hard to point the right direction but anyway you can kind of count around the circle there and get it done i'm hoping that's going to work it should work on plywood too they do cut through plywood um we'll try a couple because i don't know how else i'm going to easily get that done uh this room's got four pot lights a fan box and that box there for uh uh, presumably a smoke detector so um, now you might be wondering if you're familiar with construction at all why these are not taped off nicely and I don't really have a reason for you yeah um, we don't need vapor barrier on here at all and because upstairs is also living space he wants vapor barrier on here I'm still not quite sure why and uh, just one of those things you just do as, do as you're told I guess that's what the customer wants that's what it put up we wanted to make sure it was taped very good along the edges so i did that and it's all tight except for where these boxes are it's not going to be tight so kind of defeats the purpose i think but um what else can i tell you 
we're going to get started on that right away i'm just waiting for some instructions on which side that sheet that i showed you is different on two sides they're not the same so um we got to hear back from him on, on which side he would like to see one has more of a wood grain look than the other side one's a bit more pink than the other this room here we haven't finished yet west is almost done insulating here uh, i drilled two holes through the outside wall and uh, the ones for the bathroom vent and the other ones for it will be for the kitchen range hood we don't have enough pipe to finish it i got to get out the rest of there yet into the kitchen so i'll have to pick up some more of that there wasn't enough here uh we've got them drilled up we're even idea we're 12 10 probably 24 feet up in the air so i brought my long ladder with and got those two holes drilled through the wall uh with a six inch um six inch hole saw blade anybody ever use one of them it's not a whole lot of fun on a 20 you know when you're 24 feet up on an extension ladder because it gets caught once in a while so you got to really watch yourself uh the master here is also all done ready to go so i can put plywood all on this so we got three rooms we can do right now this bathroom i need to finish the venting before we can do it i think wes was all done with the backing there we've got to finish the insulation and then this kitchen main area here the guy that's putting these heat lines up is still not done he did a bunch of them but he's got more to do and so we're kind of waiting on him before we can finish this room we could get started though we can get some some done in here so yeah we'll uh, we'll probably we'll be in here today yet and probably tomorrow as well unfortunately i was hoping to be done today but see how far we get So yeah, that's what it looked like, working really well. So we got uh, a few more boxes to do yet, and then this room will be done, and off to the next one. is finished product what it's gonna look like uh, obviously we're not done yet but we got two pot lights here and this one here there is insulation in those ones too and this one's just fell down it's supposed to be up a little higher it's sitting a bit low so this is what it looks like right now but this is what I would do with this now because I don't mind this look at all we did this once before but with beadboard in a uh, porch and it, it came out stunning that was beadboard of course so this it wasn't smooth beadboard's got lines in it. it's kind of like uh, some people cut it and use it as a wainscoting on the bottom and cut it at a three foot height or 32 inch height uh, we use it on the ceiling same as this and then on our joints so all the way along the edge i did a three inch trim kind of like uh like you got here we use an mdf trim this is uh this is plywood so i just get a sheet of mdf 5 8 mdf you take it through the table saw it's really dusty to cut but uh, works great and then you can shape it and mold it and do whatever you want with it you can take router bits to it and make designs in it in this case we just left it square so i, I forget now but i think it was three inches three inches three and a half now probably about three inches all the way around on the border along all the way around the edges and then on the eight foot mark all the way across i covered every joint every seam and then on the four foot mark, we went across the opposite direction. It had then end up with a frame, a picture frame, four feet by four feet, all the way along the ceiling. And then, then you paint everything the same color. Well, you don't have to, but that's what we did. And it came out really stunning. I don't know if I'd have any pictures of that or not, but it uh, really came out stunning. <clears throat> this is how those holes look, uh, cutting them with the roto zip. <clears throat> and it's exactly perfectly lined up, so it worked out really well. Very happy with that. And like I said, we're cutting the plastic out beforehand now. And um, yeah, I didn't get caught in it at all, that box there too. Those ones are a little tricky because you gotta go on the outside and the roto zip constantly wants to go away, but you can see that's pretty darn too close to the right size. And uh, whatever flange is on that fan box, we'll cover the rest. So um, anyway, it's a frosty morning. Not a lot of snow, just a little. I'm here at the gateway there, that's the pasture. See the laneway here, the van. 
She's a little bit white. We're going up to plus 12 here this week though, so definitely isn't going to last. The sun's just coming up. But not a lot of accumulation. Just a little bit of snow on top of the grass. Kind of pretty this morning, actually. It's a nice morning. Beautiful. Good morning, everybody. We are in here day three. Uh, just noticed out the window, I got some footage there. It's a whole bunch of deer out here. Nine of them, I counted. Uh, eight in the pack here, and then uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, and then one moved over the other way. He's farther over. So, pretty cool. We are still at it here with the ceiling. Uh, so we started with uh, insulating and uh, putting the paper barrier up. We're not done this corner yet, of course. We're going to finish that this morning. And then we're putting this plywood over top. And we've got to cut all these holes out. Uh, and then eventually, I think he's going to run some kind of trim on it. But a little dark in here, folks. But anyway, this room's all done. And uh, we've got that room there all done. And then the master bedroom's all done. Master bath. Wes is just finishing insulation on right now. And uh, then we've got to do this kitchen. So hoping to have it wrapped up today because I got a pile of other things that need doing as well. And uh, I got to get to that too. Always helping other people. I don't get my own stuff. So we'd like to get some plumbing hooked up in our house and we badly need to go cut some firewood. So uh, yeah, hopefully get to that soon. So we're going to wrap it up here. I think uh, we're aiming for lunchtime today. Anyway, we'll see if we can get to that or not. I got a couple more vents to put in. I'm just doing some duct work here right now for um, bathroom venting. So I ran that one out the wall and uh, the kitchen one I'm putting in right now. So that's the big one that's running all the way through. Running that one through this wall and that's going to come down for the range hood. And then I still got to drill another hole in the wall for, uh, in the far wall for uh, the other bathroom vent. Outside here, we stuck these vents in. I put those two black guys in that connect to those pipes. So I did that yesterday off the ladder. And I got to do one more over here, yeah, the side here for the laundry, and one more on the other side of the house. So then I can bring my ladder back as well. Uh, what else? I think that's it for that. That's basically what we're doing. And then there's some painter coming sometime. So what do you need, buddy? It's stuck. Uh oh. There you go, sir. Anyway, I got it back at her. Wes can't work by himself. They're multiplying here as we work, folks. There's even more here now. All right, there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Thought I had seventeen a minute ago. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, there's 17. Let's try again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. No, oh, I'm missing. No, I only got 15. Who am I missing? Maybe I'm not zoomed in far enough. With my eyeballs, I can see more. Oh, they're hiding there. One more time. 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Nope, back to 16. I don't know what's going on. Maybe one standing behind another one. I know I counted 17 a minute ago, but that's a lot of deer. You sit in this field. I'll have to ask for permission to hunt over here, maybe. I don't see that many at my place. I mean, they're close enough. I can just about get them out the window here. No bucks, though. They look like they're all does. I don't see any big bucks in. Oh, well, now, would you look at that? It looks like it wants to snow here, too. Looks more intense on the camera than, or on the in real life than it does on the camera. But it's snowing. Happy November, everybody. <laughs>